Welcome back and today I gotta share you something that uh, you've already read it from the title. Yeah, within two days I got sort of kicked out, not sort of, I got kicked out. And not because I did anything, just because I was getting racialized. Or, as to say, I was not letting her racialize me, if that makes sense. So what uh, happened was when I landed here, I went, um, so I got a place um, near, like around uh, North York, which is like north of Toronto. So I got a place there and I went there, like as soon as I landed, I went to that place. And um, yeah, the, the, uh, First, uh, I my, 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 my flight landed at 3 and I was asked to fucking wait at the airport. So basically what happened was, oh, she was like, there's nobody at the house and uh, nobody can let you in before 6. But there were like other tenants, but God fucking knows. She was like, yeah, nobody's gonna be home, come at six. So I fucking, like I went to my um, sister's place and then from there I went to the apartment or the room that I was supposed to live in. So as soon as I get there and uh, as soon as I get there, uh, the landlord, he uh, was a, I didn't know he was a landlord because he doesn't look like a landlord. But anyhow, I don't wanna judge anyone or anything. So I get there, I was uh, nothing, not even a single thing, like a, like a com like commands, like, hey, uh, no shoes, no this, no that. I was like, Let's introduce ourselves. But apparently he didn't want it to, so um, I was like, okay, it's gonna be a fun little stay because immediately I was like, I'm not gonna stay there for more than two months because I paid two months rent, right? And um, I was like, okay, I'll go. Um, I was like, okay, maybe just first birthday or whatever. I went to my room and um, just started up things and stuff like that the next day i got groceries bought stuff um and uh, literally like got everything and uh, i even bought like refrigerators and stuff like that so i was like oh if i'm staying two months i should probably you know like stay proper uh, make it as a ho home rather than a house right and um yeah, so I was like setting up everything and then in the evening uh, she, she like basically rammed out she, uh, like I was putting stuff on like taking stuff uh, to my room I left the door open because obviously you take stuff through the door, right? and um, she yelled at me out of nowhere she was like oh you gotta why did you leave the door open blah blah this blah blah that why um, and then my sister was helping me to put up the stuff and then she was like oh why is your sister here no guests allowed I was like because I wasn't told anything I wasn't told about any guidelines or anything and uh, she was like oh this isn't uh, your um, uh, Indian household where you can do whatever blah 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 that 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 thing because I worked at uh, BMS department which is basically behavioral medical and and science so I can analyze behaviors um, although I'm a computer science student but working there I kind of know how to analyze people's uh, analyze human behaviors and uh, react to it and sort of 
what they actually mean from all that conversation i was like god damn now i fucking know the reason because i'm being racialized that that that's that's the whole fucking part of there's nothing in me doing things in a certain way because trust me i probably had the i probably that not probably i definitely have better um management skills or not management skills but like to sort of keep my shit clean and organized than her right but um i was being racialized and i was like okay this is gonna be fun and then she kept on uh going and going and going i was like you gotta stop somewhere right and i was like you didn't tell me about any rules and guidelines and at the same time you can't treat me like your average tenant because at the same time yeah you have other tenant they might get suppressed by you easily but i'm not like that because i know how to live at the same time I, i'm not saying it in a bad way for the people but at the same time i lived around like i've been i lived in europe for um almost one year and uh, like i was new to toronto like i've been here i've been living here before that as well so i was like you you shouldn't be uh, making those marks because i know how things go around in Toronto she was like oh it's not safe blah 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 because I was like you need to set up the guidelines you need to have proper guidelines and she ran out and I was like you need to have the etiquettes of how to treat a tenant and um, she was like oh blah 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 like she kept on yelling I was like what the fuck are you yelling we can talk there's a thing called can we talk and or communicate uh with your tenant properly right that, that that's a thing and um i was like okay this this, this. she's just no i'm not i can't i was like okay and she was like oh um my door's always open you can leave if you don't like it and i was like give me my fucking rent i'll leave tomorrow and um the next day she didn't mention anything about the conversation i was like hmm like what's going on now she the next day i even cooked in this while she was cooking and she was all cool and chill we talked because she was looking for other tenant and the next day she found a new tenant and then she was like oh uh can you leave in the evening two hours fucking notice Two motherfucking hours notice. I was like, I don't fucking care who you are because at the same time, I know the rules. I, as a tenant, have some rules and rounds immediately. I was like, you can't just give me a two days notice, a two hours notice. And she's like, oh, I can do whatever I want. I was like, I paid the fucking rent. I can call the motherfucking cops and we'll see who's in the right and who's in the wrong. that's the thing most of our um, immigrants or most of our minority community they don't put out the words that they, they fear of something even if they are like because at the same time they are the minority right but at the same time there's nothing to fear we are fucking police and all these stuff to take care of us right there's a reason we moved to Toronto or Canada it's one of the safest countries if are especially for immigrants and stuff like that and i was like i know my rules <laughs> and uh, yeah i and basically called and uh, yeah they were like uh, it, you can file a complaint and blah 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 and she was like um uh, and basically the things going to get massive not not for me but for her and I was like do I really care 
to sort of get that deep with her because at the same time because when I called the cops she like that was me saying hey calm down there's uh, things you need to follow or like um, I have some grounds as well so that was me saying like hey I know what I'm doing and yeah after that I was like at the same time I was like I don't like her so it's better to just leave and then I I was like okay I fucked that so I left and then uh, good thing was I was with my friend and uh, he had he had a car so I was able to I was like fuck that let that car kind of stuff and leave to my brother's place he lives like roughly 90 95 kilometers from uh toronto so it's like fuck that let's leave and then i came here and uh yeah obviously she paid back the rent otherwise i would be furious but uh that was just me saying hey racialization isn't the way yet but i was like I don't care because but at the same time I should because it was me who attacked upon it or took action upon it but if it was someone else he would have just taken the shit but that's the thing like from that perspective, I feel like there's a lot, a lot of shit going around because people don't raise the voice for it, right? And even if some raise, they don't get seen or whatever, but that's not the case. But the case is, why? And also at the same time, could be just me but I feel like it's just in North America like it's just a North American thing I, I could be wrong because but at the same time I lived in Europe for one year not, not a single time maybe I, I didn't but I, I don't know I'm just saying why is it always North America why all the shit that's happening are coming out as from North America, not just from browns or blacks or whatever, but why? And at the same time, when you think about it, North America is more, way, way, way more um, diverse than Europe. Like, I went to Netherlands and basically not even in the main city of the Netherlands I went to Anchile which is basically on the border it's a small little city not a single brown person that I saw there didn't get racialized a single time I think I got more accepted there than here so I don't know why is it in North America like there's definitely some things to do or some work to be done upon like why can't we have a similar structure I can sort of say yeah it could be different like basically what we have done here is we call Canada a diverse country but what all of our sort of citizens or all of our different communities have done is we have subdivided Canada like different community like Ch Chinese, Japanese, I don't know if we have Japanese communities, but Chinese, Indian, uh, black, white, um, Philippines, uh, La Latin or whatever, like I, I, I can't name all, but you know what I mean, like we have subdivided Canada into different groups and um, sooner or later we will see the effects of it because we can see 
we have designated areas for designated people and there's no such thing as unity around like if we all are living in those communities but we don't wanna like I don't I'd, I'd like I literally have no words to say but like it's basically we are dividing ourselves it's not just Canada but it's it goes into bigger perspective but I feel like the reason I got more accepted was there wasn't a community where I was like oh I'm gonna go in my community and then do this and do that and I was kind of fitting it all in like I was blending in and uh, we were all sharing culture talking and that's the problem we are not doing that we are not sharing that's why we are not blending in we are not like i haven't i don't think as far as i know so but yeah i mean i could be wrong I'm, like at the same time i'm young i'm just in my own world but as far as i know that was my experience and uh yeah hey the one thing i can do is do something positive with how i present myself and how i present my community and how i um, engage with people every day and um yeah it takes one break to make a whole house right so or a wall or whatever you want to call it. i'm not a philosopher or whatever anyhow that was it and um yeah the toronto is fun toronto life we're back in toronto life it's uh it's actually sick it's kind of different would i go back to europe again fuck yeah it's way more relaxed but um no i want to explore more of canada as well because i barely explored anything because canada is fucking massive but um i'm gonna start doing it more often because hey trust me travel traveling gives you a bigger way broader perspective of world views and stuff like that and i want to do it especially in my young age when i travel work on myself work on my business and yeah that's gonna be it I'm talking about my business i'm currently wearing it this is our special article i'll talk about it in the uh, next video have fun peace and see you in the next one